Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I have Christie's collage. Um, I did a process video, I thought. The camera wasn't recording. So I'm just going to show you the page. <laughs> so for Christie's collage this week, um, our prompts were teapot, tree branch, pair of boots, and a sunbeam. And if you would like to learn about Christie's Collage, it is at Junk Journal Crafts and More on Facebook. And also, Christie has a YouTube where she um, does her videos, and that is 4 a.m. Junk Journals. So, I will show you what I did. <laughs> um, I could not find a picture of a teapot anywhere in my stuff. I'm going to zoom you in just a little. I could not find a teapot anywhere. So I just went and I opened up my hutch and took a picture of mine. <laughs> it makes it personal, right? So I love my tea set too. Um, I have the whole china set. It was oh, my grandma's on my mom on my um, dad's side, my stepdad. And um, but the funny thing was, is my dad died when I was seven months old, and his mother had the exact same china, and I got her tea set. I assume that the other kids got um, the other stuff, but because there was four grandkids, I think. I, I lived states away from them, so I didn't really know... Um, cousins or anything um, and my grandma my two grandmas would have never met or even known you know because it was years later that mom married um, another guy and so I ended up with <laughs> two of these and it's so special so I'm not sure whose teapot that is <laughs> but that's okay it gives me some to give to each of my daughters too I think that's pretty cool so, for Tree Branch, I have this stamp set, and I believe it is from Joann's, you know, in their um, section. I don't know if they still have it. I haven't been to Joann's in a very long time. But they had the section where they had little things for $3 or $2 or whatever. I think this is one of them, but I don't have the packaging. So, I stamped. I cut. I used my slide mount um, die. I've been going through my dies and picking out ones that I have not used very often that I was just sure I would use over and over and over and over <laughs> when I got them. So I need to. So this was one of them. And I stamped the tree branch and the bird in there. And then I also put the boots on there. I had an awful time finding boots. I could not find them anywhere. I finally got them in this collection. This is a collection from Hobby Lobby, and it's got gnomes and stuff in it. And, um, so I just I thought, well, I'll use that because the sticker was on it. I had finally given up and was just going to look for paper, and then I was going to figure out the boots, like maybe I could, you know, paper piece them or something. And I got to that collection, and there were the boots right on the front because the stickers were on the front at that time. So I've got my boots here. Um, a sunbeam. Oh my. <laughs> it's awful, but I did it. I had this stamp set. So I stamped this sun. I think that's a sun. Then I tried coloring sunbeams, and that looked terrible. I used my ink tints marker and colored it out on a um, thing. This one is a mess because I've used I use it when I'm doing real messy stuff. But it worked great because it's it's kind of ribbed and so I just colored my pencil on there and it took the took it and then I wet it and it worked really really good so I'm going to get me a new one at Dollar Tree I hope they still have these and keep it nice to do that with not all this heat embossing and you know stuff <laughs> if I'm doing something that I think is going to be really awful I do it on that <laughs> but I really like that but I tried to just do um, beams and it looked terrible 
So then I just filled it all in with yellow there, and I came back in with this this uh, jelly roll. I don't know if there's a name. No, I don't see a name, and I have not. I've set the lid somewhere when I took it off, and I'm not sure where. But I don't think it's on the lid. I don't think they put them on the lid, do they? No. No. So. But I took that, it looks like gold to me, and I went from each of the rays and drew a line. And so I guess that is my sunbeams, but I'm not really very proud of that. <laughs> so then I added a little gnome for fun and put a little mushroom sticker on her sign. Added a B and did one of my field notes stamps there. So I'm, I'm happy with it, except for the sunbeams. I don't like those. Then I just, of course, put my... Um, printed those out on a tag and found some eyelash trim I liked and put it on there. And both of these background papers are from that collection. So that is what I did this week and I'm really sorry I don't have a video, a process video for it. I looked up to say something and, and I was just checking to make sure that it was recording and it wasn't. And <laughs> I didn't check until I was doing the sunbeams, and that was very late into the video. So, well, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.